welcome everybody um, to this uh, virtual uh, study information day. Um, my name is uh, Michael Granitzer. I have the chair of data science here at the University of Passau in the faculty of uh, computer science and mathematics. And it's now my pleasure to introduce to you one of our newest or the newest study program that is uh, the master in artificial intelligence engineering. Um, the master program um, starts with winter semester 21-22 and is a study program at the Faculty of Computer Science and Informatics. You see the faculty here and the image, that's our main faculty building. Um, you see it's a very nice view and a nice building and surrounded in a very nice campus. This is the University of Passau campus um, um, uh, here uh, in Passau. So, in the next couple of minutes, I want to convince you about uh, the subject of artificial intelligence engineering and briefly introduce what's in the study program, so the contents of the study program. And I will start by uh, giving you a brief outline of the major part or the focus of the program. Uh, you know all artificial intelligence is a very uh, trending and upcoming topic and I want to, to, to tell you how, what, what we can offer you to advance your skills in this field of artificial intelligence. Second, I also want to talk a bit about career prospects. That means um, show you a bit of which jobs you might do in the future after completing the study program. And then, if you're still with me, and I dearly hope that you're with me, I uh, will briefly explain uh, the details of the program, the requirements, and also finally how you can apply for the study program. But let's look at the subject area. Uh, I'm pretty sure you all heard already of artificial intelligence. It's hard to not hearing of AI um, uh, when uh, from the media or from the web or from somewhere else. And now one might think that AI is a very recent field. But AI or the idea of creating machines that are like humans or act like humans is actually a very old one. Uh, it was always a question of a lot of researchers if this is possible. Here you see one of the first uh, you see an image um, from Leonardo da Vinci's robot. Uh, so Leonardo da Vinci in the medieval ages uh, already thought about how one can make a robot uh, by con or make, make, make a machine move like a, like a human by using mechanics. Mm. Of course now we don't use mechanics anymore or do not think about mechanics, but we have uh, digital technology in order to not only move like humans, but to make machines smart in a way that they can do automated, they can do automated decisions and that they can mimic or, or approximate uh, human intelligence uh, or conduct in an intelligent manner. That is usually referred to as artificial intelligence. And there are some very interesting and intriguing core questions in there. The first question of course is, can machine actually learn? Is the intelligence of a machine then comparable or will it be ever comparable to those, those of, the hu of the human? Huh? Then also what, what are the limits of learning? Are the limits of learning? So if machines can, you know, Computers can do things faster than humans, so can they also learn faster? Or are there limits to their learning capabilities? Is learning and intelligence unique to humans? Yeah. So these are more theoretical questions, so to say. But then you already know that there are certain systems already in place who work uh, in a very, very narrow setting and do intelligence, under quotes, task. For example, detecting objects uh, in an image. So if you use your smartphone camera, you see that smartphone camera de can detect faces, for example. Now, this called of, of, of narrow AI uh, already exists, but now the question is, how can we uh, integrate those 
learning systems into existing system and how can we build those system and, and apply them to certain application fields. Mm. And uh, what, what is the engineering approach to that? And then there are questions beyond the pure technique and the pure uh, computer science and math. Namely, what's the impact on society? Uh, so if we have artificial intelligence, uh, are there any boundaries we should foresee? Are there any ethical or legal constraints that uh, such machines should uh, fulfill? Uh, what are our demands to those machines? And what are also potential concerns? Uh, and that requires not only to build those systems, but also discuss their usage and their, uh, uh, their constraints. Now, what can we offer uh, in Passau in the study program along these lines of questions? First, of course, um, there is the foundation. Similar as to computer science, we have again a foundation of algorithms and math, which is important, uh, especially uh, for artificial intelligence, which is um, as a subject between computer science and mathematics. So you need a strong mathematical background, especially in stochastics, uh, but also beyond to understand the capabilities and the limits of, of uh, potential learning system, of the algorithms behind. You have to understand algorithm engineering to know uh, runtime complexities and, and how long it would take for algorithms to do certain things. So that is, that is necessary to have this strong theoretical base. The second part is, of course, this special subset of algorithms um, that uh, have been developed over the past decades in order to uh, allow machines to learn in various different domains. Yeah? And this is, these are those AI methods uh, as another area where you will um, learn about symbolic or sub -sym and, and sub-symbolic AI, so principal logics and these kind of neural networks that you see here um, depicted. Um, but also beyond that, uh, classical optimization techniques or data science for working or exploring uh, data and of course um, also um, stochastics and statistics that are the core of every AI system today. But beyond the mathematical foundation and the core, there is also the question on how can we engineer those systems? Because the, the learning algorithm is, is never used in an isolated manner. They all have a kind of um, surrounding system they are working. If you think, for example, uh, searches via Google, uh, the ranking is uh, more or less learned uh, based on certain signals, um, but the learning system is embedded into the search engine per se. And so there is the question on how can we um, integrate learning algorithms in systems and comparable to software engineering, what is the engineering process behind that? What steps need, do we need to take to ensure certain properties? And different than software engineering, AI-based systems depend to a large degree not only on the algorithm, the software, but also on the data. So you have to understand how to engineer the data, how to model the data. You also have to understand how to deploy those learning algorithms on a larger scale because they are usually very resource uh, demanding. You then also have to, to understand the security constraints of those. Uh, there's, uh, again, um, those systems, it's not guaranteed that they always work, so they need to be reliable, but they could be also exploited um, by other ways. And this is, this, is, uh, this field of AI engineering, AI systems engineering, which is also at the core of the whole uh, study program. Then, of course, having these more computer science-oriented uh, uh, fields here, um, the next question is, what is the application case? What is the application scenario of uh, AI systems? And there uh, we offer different uh, cases where media, finance, industry, mobility, just to name a few, where you learn what is this 
specific uh, properties of the application domain and what can be solved uh, by AI in such application domains. Uh, for example, in media. Uh, can we analyze videos automatically? Can we generate videos automatically? Can we understand text? To which degree can we understand text? Etc. etc. So that's the application part. And finally, there are also so-called cross-cutting concerns. That means um, non-functional requirements to AI systems, if you want to view it from a, from a software engineering point of view, or concerns that, that um, uh, do not necessarily um, require the um, do not necessarily have a technical um, constraint on the system, but that um, tackle aspects like society, uh, ethics or law, uh, where the question is what are regulations to or w w what are constraints given by law to AI systems? Yeah? Um, how can law regulate AI systems? Then on the ethical part the question is what should we do uh, with AI and how can we for example make that AI is fair? Uh, and um, there are a lot of questions that surround uh, this topic of AI that needs to be considered or at least also understood by people who develop these kind of AI-based systems. And these are the areas we uh, want to offer here in our study program that uh, hopefully allows you to dive deeper into uh, the subject of the AI and become an AI engineer or an AI researcher, of course, because the program is oriented so that it can cover both career paths for industry and, uh, of course, for science. What are the career perspectives? Uh, AI is uh, currently the trend, I would say, in the job market. Um, it is also the trend which uh, spans across very different sectors, uh, very different uh, fields. And here I, I brought you a little bit of a study uh, from, from Indeed that showed that 29% um, of AI job listings growth from May 2018 to May 2019. So in one year, 30% of more job vacations have been uh, there in the field of AI. At the same time, less and less people are searching for uh, jobs via the platform that is mentioned here, which means there is a growing demand, but the demand currently cannot be satisfied by, um, and there are more and more people, uh, there's, there's a shortage of AI experts. So by completing the study program, you will be able to work in that field, you will be able to work as an AI engineer, as a data scientist, as a maintaining AI infrastructure and AI DevOps, data engineer. But you can also go beyond in more management oriented roles like a chief digital officer, a product manager, data consultant and many, many more. What are the features of uh, our program? How can we as a faculty and as a university bring you there? Well, we have uh, composed in the study program uh, a broad uh, international very relevant module selection. So you can choose from a broad range of modules in the different uh, areas that I have shown you. And because we are a rather small university and a small faculty, you will be also given the chance to work uh, very closely with chairs here at the, uh, at the faculty and therefore you will be integrated um, in cutting-edge research projects. Uh, that means you will have the possibility to work as a student assistant um, and uh, uh, or conduct a seminar or master thesis in uh, cutting edge research and maybe also will be able to contribute already during your study times um, to advance the field of AI. Um, you will develop skills for careers in research, academia and industry and you will be able to choose uh, during your study time um, 
And uh, yeah, we also, of course, have excellent uh, relationships with enterprises here in the region and, and beyond. Um, so Bavaria, for example, is currently investing a lot in further advancing the field of artificial intelligence with new companies, with uh, startup programs that are uh, run um, at different universities, but also here in, in Passau we have a very nice startup program. And so we will enter a very brimming uh, environment with lots of lots of opportunities. The University of Passau also has, uh, the faculty also has numerous uh, partnerships with universities worldwide that allows you to then um, maybe take a semester abroad uh, if you want to and uh, get also international experience. So I hope you're still with me and you're really interested now in how exactly this study program looks like. And um, yeah, the curriculum is built that uh, you have to complete 120 ECTS points. Um, that is, uh, we have approximately uh, 30 ECTS uh, per semester. That means the average or intended duration is, is uh, two years or four semesters. And um, you can put together your individual curriculum. So there is no fixed list of courses uh, that you have to take, um, but we have uh, defined different specialization areas, so to say, our research areas along the, the, the topics I outlined in the beginning. So we have at the very base, we have this algorithm engineering and mathematical modeling where you learn foundations um, of math and also computer science that are um, necessary for focusing more on the algorithmic part of AI. Then we have artificial intelligence methods um, in the range from 10 to 55 ECTS. Um, so 10 is minimum and maximum you can make in this area is 55 ECTS that focus on AI methods, neural networks, machine learning, logics, uh, or those kind of things. Then um, one subject is then this artificial intelligence system and systems engineering, where it is the question on how we can build, or what is the engineering process? How, how can we build those systems and how can we make certain guarantees uh, that the system then fulfills what we defined in the requirements before? Mm -hmm. Then we have uh, artificial intelligence applications which allows you to focus on different application areas. Um, and this is also um, a domain where we expand beyond the computer science faculty, where you will be able to get in touch with other disciplines, uh, like for example, economics, uh, or um, also more uh, text and language related parts. And uh, finally, we have the cross-cutting concerns, um, where we will uh, learn the, the basics about uh, legal aspects or legal regulations for AI systems, what, what needs to be considered, and uh, also ethical uh, aspects. Uh, part here in cross-cutting concerns is also um, supporting uh, entrepreneurship, so that you might be able to take your ideas and uh, um, create a startup and become the next Google. If you are more uh, focused on an academic career, a career in research, we have a one area about research seminars where you can have uh, additional seminars to, to foster your skills, to hone your skills um, in, in academia. And that also gives you the opportunity later on uh, to continue with the PhD. So, um, there is also a mandatory part that is here uh, with about 40 ECTS, that is uh, 30 ECTS with a master thesis um, plus the presentation of the thesis. So um, this is usually done in the last semester of your studies. Then uh, one seminar that gives you um, the basic skills for um, working in a scientific and research-oriented way by reading up research papers, uh, doing maybe your own small experiments and then writing everything in the form of a paper and uh, submitting that. 
And then there is one mandatory lecture, which is uh, introductory lecture, should be done at the beginning of the study, which is introduction to AI engineering, um, which um, uh, gives uh, um, um, gives you the or um, uh, teaches the basic uh, skills necessary for uh, conducting the program. But besides this mandatory area, you are free to choose from this uh, from this list here of very different subject domains within the ECTS, ECTS ranges and there are different modules and you have different possibilities of specialization. So if you're now even more interested in coming to us, the next question is of course, what are the requirements for uh, studying uh, the study here in Passau? First, there is a language requirements. Um, the study program is an English study program. That means you have to have uh, English language skills, at least at the level of B2 at CFR uh, language frame, or that translates, translates to several other um, scores in different tests, like TOEFL tests, uh, ILTS test, the Cambridge English uh, Language Assessment uh, test, or you can also have a first degree completed entirely in English. For all international students, you should also have uh, German language skills at the level of A1, so basically the lowest level. Um, but you need, uh, but this language skill is not necessary for, for studying per se, because all our courses are in English, but um, for interacting, of course, with the environment. If you're here, it's good for your daily living uh, if you have uh, some level of German if you know some level of German, and also for interacting with various um, uh, administrative uh, units here at the university. However, you don't need to have this language skill at the beginning of the study. We offer compulsory German courses if you don't have that level that need to be completed within the first year. And after the first year, you have to show that you have those necessary language uh, skills. So these are the language requirements um, for the academic entry requirements. Um, well, of course, in order to go into such an uh, interesting subject as AI, you need to have an um, uh, undergraduate university degree or first university degree, could be also a master, uh, in computer science or mathematics or a related discipline. Um, Related means that um, you should have at least 120 uh, ECTS. So um, basically um, um, four semesters um, completed um, uh, in uh, computer science or mathematics, where from, from this 120 ECTS points, at least 40 ECTS points have to be in computer science. And um, where is it? 35 ECTS points here um, have to be in mathematics or theoretical computer science. This is necessary for you to bring the necessary foundations to take up the modules offered. If you have completed a four year non ECTS degree, then um, the 120 ECTS requirements are. Uh, deemed to be met if approximately two-thirds of the credits points were earned through computer science related courses. Also you need to have a final grade of, of 2.7, that's here, um, or better under the German marking systems. Um, there are certain equations one can be used to, to convert international grades into that marking system. So how can you apply? Um, application deadlines are 31st May uh, for winter semesters, that means October intake, or um, 15th of December for summer semester, that means April, April intake. Um, so you start in April uh, then. For uh, certain countries, if you have your first degree in one of the following countries here, and I won't read them out loud because uh, yeah, you can read them yourself, um, then you can apply directly at the university. That means there are no fees. 
or for all other candidates, so which are not from one of those countries, or of course also not from Germany, you can apply through UniAssist, which is a German-wide um, organization, and so you can not only apply uh, via UniAssist for Passau, but also for other universities, although you have to pay a small uh, administration fee. Yes, um, that brings me to the end. I hope um, I could raise your interest uh, for this new study program of artificial intelligence engineering. And I hope um, that uh, you will consider it and consider coming to this very beautiful campus. And if you need further information, there is the website here on the Master of Artificial Intelligence. Uh, the URL is down here. And um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact uh, one of the uh, faculty uh, responsibles or me directly. My website is also found on the web. Uh, my email address is also found on the web page. Thank you very much for your attention and uh, all the best and stay healthy.